Hey, hi everyone. This is Rahul Tucker, and today I'm going to unbox the new gimbal that I bought. Uh, but just before that, I want to tell you why I bought it. Now, if you'll see my all latest videos, okay, I took all those videos from these two action cameras. Now, most of the videos are from this action camera. Uh, now, uh, the video quality is good, but the only concern that I had was it was the videos were very shaky videos. So it 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 kind of you know it's a bit irritating when you see the shaky videos honestly, and I realized that. So I thought of buying gimbal. Now here is a gimbal that I bought. I'll just show you that uh, just a moment. Here is the gimbal that I bought, and it is. Uh, I'll just give you some details. Now it was from this website. It is Cafago and uh, as you can see my name there and this is the order if camera can capture that properly all right and it is Ohem i study pro 2 uh, upgraded 3-axis handheld action camera gimbal stabilizer now this gimbal i bought it for uh, approximately uh, it was way cheaper uh, you know in other website on other website it was very very expensive than I thought you know I was just uh, going through the different websites and this website was giving me uh, now as far as Indian rupees is concerned it was less than 6,000 rupees I got it so let's go ahead and let's unbox this and let us see uh, what we have okay in just a moment here we go I have to cut that properly all right uh, here we go uh, all right here's the address and this is how the scent all right we'll keep this aside now this is the box of the gimbal as it is telling us it is i study pro 2 uh, all right uh, here we go fine let us see what we have inside where 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 okay I got it Okay, I'll keep this box aside this is what we get in the box there is a case a solid case we get uh, Oham written on that now we have some cavities here in the shape of uh, gimbal and let's see what we have there <clears throat> okay here's the manuals just in case it's in I don't know what language is this probably it is the Chinese language and this one is the English language so you can go through it it will tell you how to use gimbal alright we'll keep that aside we don't want this and here we are we get tripod honestly with a cheap one it's not that solid I do have already one that is this one so this is pretty steady and pretty strong so I don't think that I'll be using this one so still as we got it we get these wires this is to charge gimbal 
and this is to charge camera from gimbal this is what you can do as well so we'll keep this aside and this is a gimbal all right now it is all plastic good grip this part is a little rubbery part everything is in plastic we have start button here menu button here this is the joystick and even this is a button I don't know for what it is we can check that later on when we'll try using the gimbal we got tripod mount here we got tripod mount here as well that is quarter inch here is one button I think this is to reset the gimbal because you can change the gimbal uh, rotational machines you know uh, there are different modes in fact so you can change those from here this button and after that if you want to reset that so I think this is the button that you can use now I can see it is all plastic uh, obviously I mean the amount that you're paying uh, so in that it is you know pretty good thing that you're getting now it is a hard plastic even this is plastic this part this one even this is plastic everything is made of plastic hard plastic though this part is also plastic alright so what I'll do is now I'll put the camera inside that and let us see how that works okay but it is not that heavy but yeah you will get the cheap feeling you know when you hold that so that's all right for the price that I paid it is good enough this is the place where you can charge the gimbal and you can charge your camera from here as well that's what I can see inbuilt battery you get inbuilt battery in this gimbal so yeah that's all I can say there is the LED lights here which will indicate how much battery uh, is remaining in the gimbal all right and let us uh, see I'll, I'll, I'll attach one of the action camera here and then we'll try to use that okay okay now what I've done is I have uh, attached the tripod that I got along with this uh, gimbal so now I'll just show you what are the functions on this gimbal how they work probably you already know about it but I just want to show you if in case you don't know that alright so I'll just bring that little closer so that you can easily see the buttons and the functions of this gimbal okay yeah here we go I hope you all are able to see that clearly now there are in total uh, four buttons here you can see and uh, with the different functions now this button here as you know that it is switch off and switch on button and uh, you have to just keep it pressed for three seconds in order to switch it on and in order to switch it off as well and the button on top of that it is basically a mode button now if you'll see just besides that there is uh, the first option is uh, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you that as well what are the modes basically just I'll complete the functions now this is joystick as you know you can you know uh, take it right take it right take it left up down so accordingly your camera will move and this button you over here if you, you if you can see it is again you can adjust the horizon of the camera uh, like this okay it will move I'll show you that as well now the modes there are four modes on this uh, gimbal now the first mode as you can see pf and you have one dot against that that means you're just you know uh, if you will press it once okay 
it will go on a pf mode that is a pan following mode and this line over here uh, this light over here okay led light that will flash you know uh, flash once that will be a quick flash and that will basically tell you that uh, you know your your gimbal is in a uh, pan following mode now after that if you can see the second option there it is uh, ptf mode now that means it is a pan and tilt following mode and this light will flash two times uh, that will be a quick flash uh, which will actually give you idea that your camera is on uh, ptf mode then it is al mode al mode as in your your gimbal will get locked if it is facing you know towards this side and uh, towards this direction i mean to say it will keep on facing towards that direction no matter how you and where you move the gimbal and uh, third the last one uh, is uh, AF mode that is all following and uh, inception mode that means it will follow each and every action of your gimbal and uh, that is these are the you know, there are four dots as in you have to press this button four times four times quickly so that uh, your gimbal will go in that mode uh, that's what I can say here and uh, let us talk about the another things the and yeah there is one more button here okay if you'll rotate this camera okay here we go tripod mount as i showed you already here there's the charging pods and this button basically this one in the back so this button basically uh, helps you to bring the camera that is a trigger button you can say uh, press on uh, that is a sport mode so it will follow uh, each and everything wherever you want to move the gimbal it will move I mean the camera will move and the double tab it will recenter the, ca the camera it will come back the the same position where it started okay that's what it is and yeah let's see I'll show you I, I'll switch it on and I'll show you how that performs all right okay now what I've done is I've already attached my uh, camera uh, to the gimbal now we'll switch it on now see the moment you switch it on immediately this light started blinking now this is basically on a pan following mode the first option okay that's what I can see all right now if you'll see the moment I am moving this gimbal right it moves right it moves left okay it doesn't go down if you'll see so it will not go down see in this angle it is pan following mode as I said so that is one thing all right and if I'll press it twice okay now see how the light blinks two times now it is it will follow in a tilt and pan following mode okay that's how it will follow here we go I hope you are able to see that yeah now I'm keeping it straight all right now as I said uh, you know similarly if you'll press it three times here yeah? one two three now see the blinking increased now it is three times now it is lock mode so if I'll move okay no matter where it will remain as it is facing in the same direction as it was it doesn't move see no matter where how I'm moving the gimbal it stays straight facing in front okay and then if I'll press it four times one two three four all right 
it is once all right so that's how and one more thing I want to show you see this button this one that we were talking about it adjusts the horizon so this is how it is it will this is how you can adjust your camera it is pretty straightforward and uh, right that's what I can see all good now that's how you have to use now as you know there are three motors one is here one is here another one is here now the best part about this gimbal is if you'll see the angle this part here it is tilting this side so what used to happen previously uh, the the uh, older version okay this part was straight so camera used to hit here okay so but as it is now you know uh, it, they have given the angle to this part camera has more space to move so that is the best part about this gimbal and it is iStudy Pro 2 okay that's what this gimbal is so the another you know another part in another part i'll show you you know how this camera performs with gimbal and without gimbal as well all right let's go ahead and see how that performs okay now what i'll do is i'm going to use this tripod first okay and i'm going to use this camera which is xiaomi Mia 4k action camera so i'm going to use that one now i'll make sure that you know the stabilization in this camera will be switched off so that you will actually understand how that works on the tripod and then how actually it works on our uh, gimbal all right so let's go ahead and let me put this camera on the tripod first and then i will shoot the video from the tripod okay okay now the setting that i'm going to use that is uh, 2k okay and all the stabilization is off and i'm using this uh, camera just on the tripod all right let us see how that works And I'm going. I'm just trying to keep this uh, tripod as stable as possible. And I'm not walking too fast. I'm just, uh, you know, in a normal speed. Okay, I'm just trying to move the camera from right to left, horizontally. You can just check yourself how that performs on the tripod. Here I go. All right. Now I'm going to use gimbal after this. Okay. Here I go, and I'm going to use the gimbal. Here we go. Now what I'm doing go, going to do is I'm going to. Uh, use gimbal and I have attached the camera to gimbal already that is Pro 2 all right and let us see now how that performs with the gim gimbal and again the settings on the camera I have kept it same all right so purely it will be uh, you know the gimbal who will do all the adjustments as far as stabilization is concerned all right let's go ahead See how this works. And we we'll just uh, move horizontal. You can see. And remember as I said it is 2k and I've turned off all the stabilization from the camera whatever stabilization you are you are able to see it is all because of the gimbal and 
and again I'm just moving the camera from right to left and from left to right just to see the stabilization and I hope if you'll compare the video that is with uh, uh, the tripod and with gimbal you will see 100 percent would be able to see the difference I'm pretty happy as far as the cost of this gimbal is concerned it's worth if you're watching it from uh, outside India uh, then it was uh, it was for me it was $59 for this gimbal and uh, Indian currency that was uh, I think uh, something 4,000 oh, it, it was uh, below 5,000 just have a look I'm enjoying this I hope you got the idea guys if you enjoyed this uh, video if you like this video all right you can go ahead click on like and don't forget to click on subscribe thank you and I'll show you another gimbal after this video there will be another video of another gimbal that I bought and uh, you'll get to know which one is that when you see that video take care of yourself bye bye